Good news. Oh, always welcome. Uh, Liza's not pregnant. How? Well, she stopped by and took a test. <sighs> One less complication. Yeah. Uh, did I miss something? No, no, it's just... Well, you know, like in those old black and white movies where two people get locked in a bomb shelter that normally hate one another, and after two days, they, you know, they bond. You're not telling me that no, you were No, 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 we're good in a crisis. That's all I'm telling you. That's all it is. Did I ever tell you that I was a Pony League all-star? Mm. Pitcher or batter? Neither. Attitude coach. <laughs> I was good, too. <laughs> I was good. I believe he could, he could fit you in. What? Uh, Dr. Clayter, I'm sure he can have an opening for you. Oh, um, no, no, I can't stay. There's a glitch at the studio. Do you need me? Hi, no, um, no, no, everything's under control. Mr. Montgomery. Excuse me, Miss Colby. Your secretary told me I could find you here. Well, my secretary is usually right. I had an appointment, but unfortunately it was canceled. Well, maybe you could spare me a few minutes. I'd love to. What do you say we sit right over here? Thank you. Uh-huh. So, what's all this about? Dr. Jonathan Kinder, I understand he's been arrested. My news department was trying to get a statement from the police, but they weren't very forthcoming. What is it you want to know? Well, for starters, why he was arrested. I mean, was he charged? Is it serious? Did he confess to something? Why are you so interested in Jonathan Kinder? Memory, is it getting any better? It's coming back in fits and starts. I'll be walking the grounds on my father's estate and out of nowhere I'll remember a holiday dinner or a face from the past. Rechercher le temps perdu. Sky? Earth to sky, what is it? Something's coming back to me. Something big. My interest in Dr. Kinder is purely professional. Of course it is. A local story with national repercussions. It's a station manager's dream. Or maybe a station manager's nightmare. I saw you and Kinder with your heads together down at police headquarters. Yeah, well, I got the scoop of the decade. Then you don't need me, do you? Or do you? You want to know about Kinder? All right, I'll tell you. Kinder's been charged with multiple felonies, and anybody that withholds information, and I mean anybody, is going to be considered an accessory either before or after the fact. Now, given this knowledge, is there anything you'd like to tell me, Liza? I'm in television. Yes, I'm well aware of your profession. The worst I can be accused of is pandering to the audience. No, I think the worst you can be accused of is the occasional televised homicide. Laurel's death was a tragic accident. Yes, indeed it was. But we all make mistakes, don't we? Some of us more than our fair share. Jonathan Kinder, for example. How much do you know about his extracurricular activities, I wonder? Not much. I was hoping you could fill me in. <laughs> but now we're kind of talking in circles, aren't we? No, actually, I just wanted the whole story. It would be a real coup for WRCW to scoop the national press and all. Small frog makes big ripples. Frog. Well, I have been called worse. Let me ask you a question. The November election is coming up. Are you planning on running for the DA seat? Mm, I don't think I have any comments. Publicity could help you in the polls. We could do an interview for the 10 o'clock news. We could be your media ally. Well, it's very kind of you, but I already have plenty of friends in low places. Well, surely you could tell me something about Dr. Kinder, off the record. How far back in Kinder's past are they searching? who was the third woman he held captive. I mean, if you could just tell me her name, maybe she would be interested in telling us her story. Sky, describe what you saw. Close your eyes and concentrate. It's the blonde. 
The one you mentioned before? Who is she? What's her name? Lisa? Lisa? Lisa who? I, I don't know. Well, is she a friend? No, probably not. Uh, an enemy. You must have loads to choose from. She has some connection to Kinder. A patient? Poor thing, her brain is atrophied right along with her muscle tone. That's not much help. I am only stating the obvious. If Scott doesn't get her memory back, we will never get the evidence we need to crucify Kinder. With a savvy lawyer, he could be out on the streets next week. And there's no way in hell he's going to get off with a slap on the wrist. He's going to suffer. Big time. That is up to you, Skye. Deposited somewhere in your memory bank is all the information we need to put Kinder away for life. We just need you to put the pieces of the puzzle together. Believe me, I won't rest till the last piece is in place. Look, what about this Lisa person? Who is she? I'm not sure. I think I hated her, too. I'm sorry, Liza. I'm afraid all the details surrounding Kinder's arrest are going to have to remain confidential, pending further investigation. Further investigation? Yes. You know, like witnesses, accomplices. Anything I can lay my hands on to make sure that man spends a long, long time making license plates up in Statesville. Something wrong? Uh, oh, sir. Stress. You haven't helped so much. Thank you. I've never even played second fiddle, let alone third. It's impossible. Anything's possible, and usually is. Look, you have the advantage here. Uh, you know me, but I'm having trouble putting your name to your face. Have our paths crossed before, or has my sordid little tale of woe actually hit the airwaves? You do look familiar. Especially around the eyes. Where do I know you from? What's the deal? I was afraid you'd fallen in. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I didn't realize you were acquaintances. Well, she knows me. I gave her quite a jolt. She fainted dead away. Are you all right? I'm sorry. I haven't eaten. Forgive me for being blunt, but where do we know each other? Uh, who are you? It's Liza Colby. Liza Colby. Doesn't ring any bells. You know, I doubt you two have met. I mean, you left Pine Valley way before you came on the scene. Did your mother ever tell you it's not polite to stare? I'm sorry. It's just uh, meeting you in here. Liza knows exactly who you are. Miss Nose for News is scoping out a story. You're a reporter? I work in a television station. I work for your father. For you. 
Don't talk to her, Sky. Anything you say may be taken out of context and used on the six o'clock news. In fact, her flunkies have been hounding Erica all day. Is that how you make your living? By exploiting the suffering of others? Oh, you don't know the half of it. Take my advice. Give Ms. Colby a wide berth. Janet doesn't like you. It's a long story. Yeah, we'll save it. When I'm ready to tell mine, I'll call Baba Walters.